Hey everyone and welcome to Void Bridge, a new low resolution point and click adventure game. And let's start with a walkthrough. 358 days after the first discovery of a stable space time wave which opened the pathway to another world. 225 days after my reckless experiment that resulted in the disappearance of the research crew and my daughter. 225 days of guilt and grief. What's this? Hmm, an automatic notification from the computer lab. It's happening again. A new stable wave has been detected. That's incredible. Could it be the same one? This is my chance to bring my daughter back, make things right. I have to get to the lab. Thankfully traffic was light and I got here super quick. Now let's see what the computers detected. And if we go into the lab, we use this uh, teleporting device. If we use this computer or something. Okay, I've sampled the wave in the resonance chamber. The reading should appear on the chamber's monitor. I have set the door to lock. Unlocking it led to the disaster last time. Now let's use the resonance chamber. Yes, this is definitely the same wave as before. My own Moby Dick of sorts. Now if I can only modulate the phase, I may learn more about it. This is odd. I'm detecting several stable waves. Their patterns shouldn't overlap, but they seem to do just that. The main wave function is collapsing. I've got to stop it. No, no. I'm losing it. Come on, something should work. What's going on? Oh no, the rip! It's happening again. This heat is becoming unbearable. So we can't do anything, just wait a few seconds. What happened? Where am I? These trees are so strange. Is this what happened to my daughter? Could she be here, alive? I must find out. So let's go down and we see... An octopus something? God almighty, this tree looks like it swallowed an octopus. Or this octopus looks like it swallowed the tree. And let's talk to it. I saw you fall from above. I... I must have. Where am I? In a place and moment unset, out of bounds. I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. The last thing I remember was the lab and the heat. An intense wave of heat. She brought you here. The Entity brought all of us here. The Entity? Nira. Is that a person? Nira, out of bounds. I don't understand. I'm looking for my daughter. Here's a picture of her. Have you seen her? Visit Nira's garden and be careful of her minions in the dark woods where the trees crave the shadows and the cold and shun the sun. So let's go north again. And let's go to the right. And we see a mermaid, let's talk to her. <laughs> Hello there, man of the land. You, you have a tail. I wouldn't be much of a mermaid without one, would I? It's just that I've never seen one before. Clearly, I'm far from home, or utterly out of my mind. Honey, we are all out of our minds here. It's a cherry on the cake. What do you mean? Oh, there's the casual insanity that grows on everyone, and there's, then there's the sea witch who stole my blue pearl from me. Now, that sort of insanity is unpardonable. I don't follow. You tailless men are so clueless, as my beloved sister always said. She was a crystal witch, not to be confused with a thieving sea witch. Without my blue pearl, I whip from dawn till dusk. You can't imagine how tiresome that is. I'm sorry you have lost your treasure. It's more than treasure, it's my key to the ocean. You see now? Yeah, I think so. Actually, no, I don't. I lost my place at the ocean floor when she took my pearl. Oh, I miss my beloved rocks and kelps. Now I'm confined to the surface. This tan has ruined my complexion. I'm sorry to hear that. I would help you if I could, but I'm looking for my daughter. Have you seen her? 
Here's her picture. Can't say that I have. Could be the entity has her. Fortunately, the wisest of creatures live under sea. You might want to visit the ocean floor and ask around. Might bump into good old Neptune. He can be handy. You mean Neptune, god of the sea Neptune? God of the sea Neptune, god of vanity more like, flaunting his hairdo the way he does. I... I don't know that he will be helpful. Tell you what, I will grant you the gift of underwater breathing if you promise to return my pearl. You can make me breathe underwater, really? Sure I can, I can turn you into an octopus, under the waves you will be able to swim and breathe. The denizens of the sea will see through the magic though, is that a deal then? I will do my best, but if that sea witch is dangerous, I cannot promise to be successful. Maybe you'll be lucky. You have the look of my dead sister's admirer about you. Like her, he was a practitioner of crystal sorcery. Now come closer, let me kiss you. Now you can safely step into the deep water. And now we can go, right? And we're underwater as an octopus, now if we use the shipwreck... Entering the shipwreck from a hole in the bow, I found no bodies inside. There's nothing of value in the storeroom, but on the bridge I found a music box. The handle turns, and surprisingly, it plays a tune. I leave the records, wanting to spend no more time inside. I have taken the music box with me, so let's go north. Now this is the statue of Neptune, we can't do anything here. If we go to the right, we'll see... Uh, a vein of gold. I have entered an underwater cave. The octopus magic has faded as I raised my head above the water and I'm myself again. Droplets trickle down the walls, tinkling into the pool of water. We can't do anything right now. Let's go up. And if we use the cave, we will see the sea witch who has stolen the pearl from the mermaid. And if we talk to her, a man in the guise of an octopus. This must be Michelle's doing. Her standards for servants are clearly plummeting. Oh, I'm no one servant. My apologies for intruding. So, you're not here for my blue pearl? Well, um, here's the thing. The mermaid accuses you of stealing it. It was never hers to begin with, octopus man. Well, the truth is, I'm here looking for my daughter. The mermaid says she could help. She's using you. Michelle never helped anyone. She only ever cares to help herself. Would you have a look at this picture? This is my daughter. The mermaid said a thing called the entity might be keeping her somewhere. I'm sorry, I haven't seen her. Personally, I doubt the entity exists. I have never seen it with my own two eyes. Only heard stories and stories tend to be made up. I see. Here's my problem. I kind of promised the mermaid that I would bring her back the pearl in exchange for allowing me to breathe underwater. I can't return empty-handed. What will you trade for it? Nothing. Nothing really? Is it really that valuable? It is only the most dazzling thing under the sea. Its beauty is second to mine alone. Actually, you know what? Yes. If you could find something as pretty as the pearl, or even prettier, I would be willing to trade it. Something as pretty as the pearl, for the vain witch. Okay, I'll get it for you. So let's leave. So she needs something that will be as pretty as her, that's a clue, if we go all the way to the south. The seafloor elevates and is much closer to the surface of the water here, with daylight doubling the seabed. There is a castle to the southeast. Now if we use the door on the castle, we find another guy. Who are you? What are you doing in my home? I'm sorry, didn't expect for anyone to actually live here. I will be taking my leave. Wait, wait, don't scamper off so quickly. You're a man of the land, aren't you? You must be with those two legs of yours. Tell me, how are things on the land? Has the evil gone? Is the witch king dead? I don't know. I'm new here. I come from a different land. A traveler, then? Sort of. I'm searching for my daughter. She's a land walker like myself. Have you seen anyone like that? No can say that I have, but I have heard the rumor that the Witch King has captured some travelers and imprisoned them in the dungeon of his castle. Could, you, could be your daughter is among them. Would you tell me where to find this castle? I have never walked the land, so I can't give directions. All I know is beyond the river of blood that corrupts the sea. You thinking of going there, having a look at the place? 
I may do that, yes, if there's a chance I will find my daughter. A mad idea, but if you do go there, could you do me a favor? The Witch King has ransacked my home a while back. If you find anything in his castle that looks like it's come from the sea, it's mine. Bring it back to me, and I will see if any of the sea creatures have heard about your daughter. If I find anything that looks like it's come from the sea, I will bring it back to you. Thanks for your help. So he needs something that belongs to him and that was stolen. Now let's go back. Now this dialogue we just had opens up the uh, way to the castle. So let's go to the left side. A new bird in the cage. Man, it's been a while since I have seen a new face around here. What on earth do you mean? You're a prisoner here. We, are all, we all are. The others may have forgotten they were, or they refuse to accept the truth and pretend they are free. Are you telling me this world is a prison then? The sooner you accept the truth, the better. And don't be like the others. Make sure you remember what the entity did to you. Who's the entity? Why would it do that? You're asking a lot of questions. No one really knows why the entity does what it does. I need to find my daughter. Here's a picture of her. Have you seen her around? Sorry, can't say that I have. I would love to stick around, but I'm farmished and I've just caught the sniff of her hair. See you around. So let's use the fountain. And I have found a key. So let's go down. And we see a tentacle, we cannot pass through the bridge, it's broken. There's a wreathing tentacle under the ledge. Now it cannot let us pass. I don't really want to touch the tentacle. Strange, it's drawing towards me by the sound of my footsteps. So that's another clue. It's drawn by sound, and if we use the, mud, the music box, I have I've wound up the music box. This might actually work. So we're down, and if we go to the right, and search a statue, there's nothing hidden in the eye sockets. Wait, there's something in the mouth. It's a bone. I'm no expert, but it doesn't look like it comes from a human. Now, what shall I do with it? I have taken the bone. Now if we go up, there's a cave. We can't do anything here, but let's check it anyway. There are a couple of big ice crystals placed on a slab, as if for a ritual. I can see my reflection in them, how exhausted I look. And we cannot go up here because it's too cold. It's cold to climb higher, I'd rather not. And let's go back. And let's go left. Now the way to the castle is clear, let's enter, and if we look at it, at this bottle it says it's a bottle of whale milk, and that's what the guy was looking for, underwater, if we go down the stairs, we look at the skeletons, two skeletons are propped against the wall in a small alcove, they have no clothes on, but there's a backpack beside them, it has the logo of my lab on it. Oh god, these are two of the scientists who have been pulled into this world when the first trip happened. Is one of them Evelyn? There is no way of telling, I have to pull myself together and keep looking for her. Inside the bag there is a mushroom in a plastic container. They must have found it in this world before they perished. There is a handwritten note beside it, it reads, A moldy mushroom, it killed our fruits and vegetables within seconds when it came in contact with them. I have taken the moldy mushroom. Now we go to the right. We cannot open the door. Let's look at the creature. I must be careful of that beast propped against the wall. Its teeth are huge and sharp. We can't really do anything. So let's go backwards. And exit the castle.
now we go up here and we try to move to the right. I smell dinner, sweet tendons and liver juices. Please don't eat me, I'm nothing but skin and bones, you really wouldn't find me appetizing. Uh, you're right about that, I've had my plenty of skin and bones, I desire something richer than that, something kingly for a change, with a spark to it. I'm tired of eating the same thing for dinner, no offense. None taken. Get me something rich to eat, food fit for a king, and I will let you pass unharmed. Now go before I change my mind. So he won't let us pass, if we go to the left. Approaching the forest, it's eerily dark with tendrils of light slithering through the canopy. And if we go north, there's a tree that won't let us pass. Hey you, pst, over here, what's wrong? Cut got your tongue? Uh, it's just that I have never seen a talking stump before. I'm no stump, chump. I am Bart the Almighty, the toughest bark in the wood. Bart the Amazing, the seedling that could. Okay, I get it. You are special. Could you tell me if you have seen a young woman pass through here? Pass through here? No one passes through here, for I am Bart, the catcher in the night. I think I've heard enough of you. Now, if you don't mind, could you retract your um, arm-like branch so I may pass? This is my road, my forest. Why don't you come closer so I can give you a proper hug? They don't call me Bart the Affectionate for nothing, you see. I'll have to find a way to deal with this thumb before I can advance, so we can't do anything here, and let's go to the left. If we look at the stone, there's an inscription on the tombstone, it reads Here I do rest, the crystal witch, slipped in the drizzle and fell in a ditch. My sister of the waves is not around, to her as you'll see, she's never bound. No one is searching, I will never be found. Speak my name in my hall of reflections and receive my most cherished possession. So this is the mermaid sister. It says speak my name, we don't know her name, so let's go back. And go talk to the mermaid. She will tell us her sister's name. Any luck getting my pearl back? Uh, still working on it. You told me you were the crystal witch's sister. Could you tell me what her name was? My sister? Her name was Lobelia. She was clever, you know. She knew the names of all the toads in the swamp. I miss her deeply. Oh, Lobelia. So we have her name now. Let's go back underwater and to the south. And we can give the whale milk to this guy. My bottle of whale milk, you found it. Tell me, were you forced to slay the witch king in order to retrieve it? As a matter of fact, the witch king was nowhere around. The place was almost completely deserted. Ah, the coward. Well, just as well. Now, about your daughter. I have sniffed around, an amphibian friend has told me that travelers like you arrived about a year ago. He last saw them in the jungle to the northwest looking for something. That jungle to the northwest? Well, if that's where I must go, I will. I have something more for you, a bag full of sea peppers, grown and cultivated in my very own garden. Sea peppers? Oh yes, my peppers are the spiciest, the hottest, the most tear-inducing fruit in all of the 21 seas. One bite and you will sweat like a pork for hours. They make your blood boil so much. So we have the peppers. And let's exit the sea. And if we go down here. go north, now we can enter the cave, and we know the witch's name. So if we talk to the crystal... I know your name. This must be your crystals, Lobelia. And we get a mirror. Let's leave. And now if we use the hot peppers on ourselves... 
I feel so hot right now, I'm drenched in my own sweat. I think I can now endure the cold and climb to the summit. Now we can climb up and we get one of the fruits. It's small and light and smells sweet. So let's go back to the sea and give the mirror to the sea witch. Oh, what's this? Only one thing rivals the beauty of the pearl, your own. With this mirror you can always gaze at it. Hmm, let me have a look. Oh my, I knew I was beautiful but I have such wondrous eyes. Does it mean I can have the pearl now? Yes, you may have the pearl. I'm far more enamored with what I see in the mirror. And so we have the pearl, so that means we can go back to the mermaid and give it, give the pearl to her. My blue pearl, you brought it back to me. I'm so happy. I cannot believe the sea witch was willing to part with it. This is a miracle. There was something she was even more fond of that, the pearl, her own beauty. Sadly, I'm no closer to finding my daughter. Hmm, this is very unfortunate. She might have traveled north. You could look for her there, but I'm afraid that would pose a major problem for you. Why? It means getting closer to the entity. Under normal circumstances, I would keep well away from that vengeful creature. If that is where I must go, so be it. You are certainly brave, despite having no tail. And a good father. Before you go, let me give you this parting gift, a strand of my radiant hair. Be careful, a mermaid's hair is quite fiery. Hope you can handle the heat. So we have the lock of hair. Let's go back and we can now go to the tree. To that stump and use the fiery hair. Fear me, wicked stump. Fear the light that you shun and detest. Make way, fire-wielding devil. When you can pass, just quit whipping that thing at me. So now we can go north. I have followed the path out of the woods. Now we cannot uh, go through the door because it's the dog, but we use the bone. Here you go, boy. That seems to pacify him or her. And now we can enter by using the key. We have unlocked the door. And let's go inside. Let's go to the left, to the right. And let's get the pickaxe. And if we climb the stairs and go to the right again. I don't know if that's a clue yet, maybe we need it later, I don't know. The pendulum isn't, isn't moving, the clock stopped at 11.09. And if we use the bed... I can't rest, I must find my daughter. We see... A ghost, if we talk to it. You're trespassing. I'm sorry. It's okay, you're not mean like the others. I saw you give Oli a treat. Oli's my dog. Or was he's so faithful he has never left me even now with everyone gone are you alone here I remember I had the family but I'm slowly forgetting them we were all together at the beginning but they disappeared the night of the murder men came with daggers and pickaxes and when the Sun came out came out I was no longer a boy that's terrible I miss my sister Abby plenty it's a lonely with no one to play with I have no fun playing with any of my toys anymore my name is Tim, by the way. What's yours? Noah, I hope you join your family soon. They must miss you sorely, like you miss them. Thanks, I would ask you to play a game with me, but it's getting dark. And the big shadows will appear soon. I'm afraid of them, so I will be going now. 
I know how scary the shadows can be. Goodbye, team. So let's leave. And now we have got a pickaxe, which means that we can go underwater to that vein of gold. If we go north and to the right okay I might be able to mine some gold now yes I've done it the pickaxe broke but I managed to scrape off some small flakes so we have the flakes of gold and let's leave and we can give the flakes of gold to that beast that wants a rich meal fit for a king yeah okay we use it on him hey I got some gold flakes you wanted something kingly and rich with a spark to it from where I come only the rich eat these hmm let me have a try oh it's sparkling alright and crunchy, how delicious. You have certainly delivered, old man. You may pass. Now we can leave to the right. And we get this fruit. Got it. Now we try to go to the right. Fresh meat. A severely decomposed woman with an appetite for human flesh. I'm out of here. So we just leave and we need to go to the castle again. go into the dungeon and if we use the fruit on this beast what's this? I'm having a problem opening this fruit could you give it a, a go? seeing as you have such pointy teeth no problem, give it here that did it, thanks you're welcome now if we look at it the inside of the fruit is oily, it smells sweet, like chloroform. I need to remain conscious, better not sniff the oily powder. So we've got a hint. And if we go back... To that uh, decomposed woman... We can use the fruit on the water. I have sprinkled the oily chloroform into the river. This should put the undead woman to sleep, I hope. So she no longer appears and we can go right, the path is clear. And let's go all the way to the right. And if we look at this. The green shrubs swarm with tiny insects. They emit a sharp smell akin to cloves and create a slight euphoria. The smell is rather soothing really. So we pick some of the leaves and we leave, go north. Oh, so I see you are a big fan of ancient ruins too? I didn't know they were here. Well, I will save you the trouble of exploring them. I have already been inside. Wanna know what I found? Severed heads? Severed heads? Blimey, no. I found hieroglyphs, hieroglyphs carved into the wall. Some were too faded to be read, but the ones I could read said, where the rain god is born and dies, there dwells a lord whose eyes hold the treasure. What could that mean? Beats me, was never good with riddles, could be a trick of the entity to confuse us. My name's Darlis, by the way. By manners on my part, I should have introduced myself properly sooner. And I'm Noah, I'm still looking for my daughter. Haven't found her, eh? Could mean the entity keeps her close to her. She lives in a garden full of gigantic vegetables, as big as an elephant. So, when you see carrots 4 meters long, run for your life. The entity must be close. 
But if she keeps my daughter close to her, I'll have no choice. Well, I have warned you, the entity is not to be tackled with. She's pretty mean. There, I caught the sniff of her hair again. Be seen, you know. See you, Darius. So if we try to use the stairs, we get the hint again. Where the rain god is born and dies, there dwells the lord whose eyes hold the treasure. That's another hint. Let's go right. If we look at this pool, then the pool reflects the canopy in my face. I see my face age, turn grey and wrinkled. The canopy withered, turn brown, the leaves disperse. Does this pool show the future? So if we use it, we see I stir the water with my hand. An image forms, it glint under the waves. It's my wedding ring, the one I lost at sea more than 20 years ago. Is this a scrying pool showing missing things? I place a small stone in the water and the image of a rock appears. Is it the rock I ha it had come from? So and if we use the picture with the pool, the scrying pool, I place my daughter's picture in the water. I see myself navigating a path in a dark cave, that's the clue, finding the exit. As I leave the cave, she approaches me, embracing me. Now if we look at the vines, heavy low hanging vines block the entrance to the cave. But we have the mushroom from the dungeon that destroys plant life and we use it. Let's go inside. Another beast man. We cannot go near him, so we go back. And now that we have the hint about the god, let's go back to the sea. And we will go to Neptune. Now if we use it... According to the inscription, the rain god is born at sea and dies at sea. And these eyes must represent the eyes of the lord that dwells in the sea. Supposedly they hold the treasure. Now I wonder what happens if I press them. Ah, that opened a hidden compartment. There is a note in a bottle and what appears to be a toy soldier. The note reads, Dear Neptune, my brother Frankie and I have borrowed your legendary trident. We promise to return it later. Meanwhile, we would like to offer you our best toy as tribute. We hope you'll have fun with it as we had. Yours, Rudy. I have taken the toy soldier. And so we go back to the cave. If we look at the soldier, he has a peculiarly determined expression. So let's go into the cave and use it on the beast man. Let's see how you brave you really are. Oh, we scared him away. And if we leave... Now if we use these, uh, this pool... We can navigate... Underwater and that's because we used the, the picture of our... Um, of our daughter in the scrying pool. I gently climb inside the pool and die. Following the path revealed to me in the scrying pool, I am able to navigate my way out of the cave. And so... This is it for the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon. Have a great day.